If you are enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my Patreon linked below. Good day, Artificers. Today, I'll be kit bashing a Hexbug Hexapod. Um, it's sort of a little remote control toy that you can sort of buy from Toys R Us. And I'll be kit bashing it with an Orc Gorkonaut. So what you see me doing here is sort of taking apart the battery compartment, taking out the batteries, and then removing the, the top piece. Uh, I, I'm basically exploring the entire mechanism and seeing how I can sort of manage all the internals while achieving sort of the kit bash appearance that I want. I decided here to retain the internals keep the battery uh, compartment but sort of trim it down so that it fits the Gorkonaut upper torso. So you'll see that I'll need to trim off two sides and fit it inside the Gorkonaut torso. So what I proceed to do from this point is use a hobby saw and then cut off either side of the sort of head section of this toy. So after I replace the batteries, what I do is start sawing away at these two components, uh, the, the, the two fins on either side. And what happens after that is I'll do the same thing with the top part of the battery. So with this section trimmed down, I'll be able to fit it over, or I fit the Gorkonaut torso over it, while still retaining the functionality of the actual battery pack, it being fastened with a screw. So what I want to do now is take that top piece and test fit it in the bottom of my Gorkonaut torso, and it does appear that I will have to remove a bit of plastic from the Gorkonaut torso to ensure that the screw remains accessible after attaching it. So I'll remove that lower section using my hobby saw once again. And I remove the bottom by scoring it with the tip of a screwdriver. You'll see me score the plastic here so that I can quite easily snap out that section. Now that I've done that, what I do is take a hobby file and sort of smoothen out the edges. This is not necessary as a step, but it does make your kit bash a lot more refined and it will be a lot more relevant if you're not kit bashing an orc walker. There I go, I fool around with the uh, magnetically attached orc pilot a little bit, but uh, you'll, you'll see more of that in a future video. So now I put the hexapod back together and once I've screwed everything back together, I will take the lid which I kept separate and epoxy it onto the coconut torso. I will be using a sort of 10 minute two part epoxy, mix it up and then apply that over the section of the torso that I want to make contact with the lid. And the, the reason I'm using two-part epoxy and not, for example, super glue is that because the lines I've cut into the Gorkonaut aren't perfect, 
I will need to fill a lot of the gaps in between the lid and the torso. So two-part epoxy is really the best way to do so, especially since everything is going to be on the inside, you won't be able to see a lot of the ugly bits of epoxy sticking out anywhere. So this is a, a pretty good solution. So once I've test fitted, I spread a little bit of epoxy on both components and I press them together and you'll see that already the epoxy is beginning to cure. Uh, it does give me a little bit of tackiness and allow me to shift the components around to make sure everything's nice and centered. At this point, you'll be able to see how I intend to fit the two components together and also that I've decided to glue the or epoxy the lid on the outside of the gorkonaut as opposed to the inside and uh, that section that I snapped off with the saw kind of didn't really need to be snapped off it did make a nice rough edge for me to epoxy onto and uh, if you are doing this I would recommend scuffing up the edges when you want to epoxy something together it does help hold everything together a little bit better. Now with the epoxy nice and cured, I will be sort of reinforcing it with a little bit more 10 minute epoxy. And once that has cured, I can then screw that back onto the body of my hexapod. Right now, what I decided to do is cut off a larger section, and this is the section that the coconut head is attached to. So I will be removing that entire section of the hobby saw, and then now you see me file it down and smoothen it out before I attach it to the upper torso of the coconut. And you'll see that there's a stainless steel plate already attached to that section where the head of the gorkonaut should usually be pegged in. That allows me to magnetize the head of my gorkonaut and actually have that rotatable, is the word, uh, and uh, gives me a little bit of articulation, which is quite fun. I like to have play value in the minis that I convert, so that's something that <clears throat> I did uh, that I, I thought was uh, a pretty good idea. So I'm using plastic cement for this since I'm attaching plastic to plastic and uh, citadel sprue to citadel sprue. And once that's nicely set, I will attach the lid onto the battery compartment in the usual way with a screw. And you see that it already is uh, ready to go. There's the magnetic head. And I was pretty happy with the orientation of the head and uh, the balance of the entire thing. So what I do from here on out is I start to embellish the lower part of this hex support with more awk parts from the Gorkonaut sprue. And all these are attached with super glue, being very careful not to interfere with the joins of the hexapod legs. And there we are. The current state of my Gorkonaut hexapod project. If you enjoyed what you saw, please uh, consider subscribing to my Patreon and tune in next time when I start putting more 
uh, of this entire project together. Thanks to my patrons, Michael and Corey. You guys are awesome. I, I think you're superstars for helping me out with this. And I wish you all, as always, take care. Bye-bye.